This next device was called a psychograph. This is an antique phrenology machine invented in 1905, built in Superior, Wisconsin. It measures the bumps on a person's head to see what their personality is like. Phrenology was one of the leading pseudosciences in the 1800s. Its idea was invented by Viennese physician Franz Joseph Gall in 1790, who believed that you could determine a person's character by measuring the bumps on their head. Dr. Gall used to see pictures of Mozart composing music, leaning on his piano with his knuckle against his temple, so he figured, ah, that must be the location of musical skills. He had two acquaintances who were low-life characters who had large bumps above their ears, so he called that part of the brain acquisitiveness. He cataloged the whole brain on these one or two anecdotal bits of information. Dr. Gall became a sensation, lecturing on this through Europe, Walt Whitman was a great supporter of phrenology and included many phrenological references in many of his poems and articles. Mark Twain, however, was a great debunker of phrenology and poked fun at it. Phrenology continued as really a parlor game for many years. In the early part of this century, it fell into disfavor. With the discovery of such things as psychology and psychiatry, they realized that our character wasn't determined by the bumps on her head. Bill, come on over here. I need a, victim, a patient to try this out today to see if it's gonna work. Sit down here now. This will kind of tickle when it comes down on your head. Now it's gonna rate your character one through five, one being deficient, five being superior, on the 32 elements of personality that Dr. Gall invented in 1790 when he invented the idea of phrenology. Now think clean thoughts, here we go now. Keep breathing now, you're doing fine. Well, it says uh, you have a few things to work on. They're not too serious, though. OK, I'll go over some highlights of what we found out here for you. There we go. This is all about you and a 75-year-old machine right here. This is a, a printout from your reading bill have a lot of sexual enthusiasm. Maybe you should tone that down a little bit. Your math skills are kind of poor, though. Do you have trouble balancing your checkbook? Uh, <clears throat> yeah. You're quite deficient in your ability to use heavy machinery. Do you run a backhoe, a forklift truck very often? Uh, no. And uh, your faith is way too high, Bill. Be careful you're not swept off your feet by some evangelist. Now, that's an overview of your personality. Thanks, Bob. You're welcome. <laughs>